Your Reds are off to New York to take on New York City FC this coming Wednesday for the conference semifinals. Welcome inside Painting the Picture presented by Benjamin Moore. Murray Papadak is here getting you all set up before kickoff. It was Toronto FC's first playoff match since their 2017 MLS Cup win, and there was no shortage of action on the night. It was a huge win over DC United in round one of the 2019 MLS Cup playoffs. Toronto FC opened up the scoring as Marky Delgado struck off a deflection from DC goalkeeper Bill Hamid in the 32nd minute. A victory in regulation looked all but wrapped up until DC forward Lucas Rodriguez struck off a corner late in the stoppage time. With extra time now on the cards, Toronto FC bounced back in a big way, scoring an MLS record of four goals in the first 15 minutes of the extra 30. Richie Larea bagged the winner in the 93rd minute before Jonathan Osorio recorded a brace and former DC midfielder Nick DeLeon capped things off with an incredible curling finish. Saturday night's match was a true demonstration of the power and versatility this team has. With Josie Altador being sidelined due to injury and only finding out a short time before kickoff that defender Omar Gonzalez would be unavailable raised some big questions prior to kickoff. Although missing two key starters, the Reds did not let that get in the way they adjusted and each man in the starting 11 and coming off the bench stepped up and played their part. There will be little time to enjoy the win as your Reds turn their focus to a well-arrested New York City FC side that finished first place in the Eastern Conference. This Wednesday's Eastern Conference semifinal marks a third meeting in 2019 for both sides, including a 4-0 win at BMO Field on March 29th and a 1-1 draw at Yankee Stadium on September 11th. Although a quick turnaround, your Reds are motivated and ready for a must-win match. But for more in-depth analysis on the match, let's throw it to Gareth Wheeler and Terry Dunfield. From one baseball stadium to another, TFC taking on New York City FC. And it's going to be kind of weird going into a playoff game for New York. You're the top team in the Eastern Conference over the regular season, and you can't even play at your home field. Beyond that, <laughs> New York is still a very good team. Terry, what should be Toronto FC's game plan heading in? I think we've seen it over the years. There's going to be opportunities to press New York City. They love to play out of the back. Uh, and when they get the press right, you're only 30 yards away from goal. So commit to that press. You will be giving something up. There'll be times Omar Gonzalez, Mavinga are going to have to defend 1v1 in overload situations. But I think the risk versus reward is 100% worth it and it's successful. I look at New York as being kind of similar to TFC. They're just a tough team to beat. They've been consistent over the course of the season. Only six losses. 10 draws, however, so where else can you perhaps expose this New York City team? I think this New York City team over the years has evolved a little bit under Domi and that their fullbacks love to get forward and, and at times they'll, they'll attack with a six and they're a little bit open, they're a little bit fragile at the back in transition and I think if TFC can move that ball quickly up the pitch, get in behind their fullbacks and get to really deep positions, get right to that byline and look for cutbacks as we saw in the last game. In past seasons, you'd look for an all-world talent like David Villa leading the line. It's really an attack by committee. They're very well rounded, but Maxi Morales has to be the danger man on this team, second in all of Major League Soccer and assists. Yeah, we spoke about them evolving. They're a little bit like TFC. They've lost a little bit of that pure star power, but they've got uh, a, a better collective approach. And, and, and Maxi Morales is a little bit like Arpot Suelo. Their attack, a lot of it goes through him. Uh, he's a little bit more mobile where he can kind of skip past players. He, he's great at picking the ball up on the run. Uh, he's got nice little slip passes. For sure, he's a player TFC need to watch out for. Alexander Ring as well. True leader in this team. Yeah, and he's a bit like Michael Bradley, a Finnish international, in that he, he'll play wherever's required. If he's at the back, he's great at setting up attacks. He, he, he's your kind of box-to-box -box midfielder. I think that's where he's at his best if he's playing higher up the pitch. TFC did not lose to New York City over the course of the regular season, and there's some demons to exercise if you're New York. Not only 4 nothing in the Pozuelo show at BMO Field earlier this season, 2016, an emphatic 5 nothing victory Victory in the MLS Cup playoffs at Yankee Stadium. We'll see if the home side, who weren't playing at home, can get one over Toronto <laughs> FC this time around. This week's midweek matchup will have a venue change from Yankee Stadium to City Field, home of the New York Mets. As Captain Michael Bradley stated in his post-match scrum on Saturday night, this team still has so much more to offer in their quest for a second MLS Cup title. 
Kickoff is set for 7 p.m., so make sure you tune on TSN to watch because it'll be a match you do not want to miss. Brazenhead will also be hosting our official viewing party with doors opening at 6 p.m. But for all your playoff information, visit torontoc.ca slash playoffs.